Amelia and Robbie. We left our lives in the city and spent every penny we had on an abandoned shepherd's house on the top of a mountain in Spain. Join us on our journey as we build our dream homestead. Ever since moving to the top of this mountain, our toilet experience has been primitive and at times traumatic. We spent the first year on our homestead going to the toilet in the bushes with a shovel and a knife, fighting for our place amongst the grunting wild boar. The second year on our homestead, I made some improvements. A makeshift compost toilet built from pallets, scrap wood, and a thoroughly cleaned out bucket of paint. However, we don't want to be battling the elements anymore and Robbie has had enough bucket emptying to last him a lifetime. I've told him we will be using a compost toilet for the rest of our lives, so we must build it to last forever. Two years of thought has gone into this design and over a thousand YouTube videos. We are so excited to see the result. If you haven't seen part one, we selected an area for the toilet, made some wooden shutters and poured a concrete slab. I wrestled some trees and nearly cut my leg off. We argued passionately over the design details, set some stuff on fire with a blowtorch. Robbie nearly cut his finger off making a door. We realised a flaw in our design a little too late and I lost my block laying virginity. Check it out at the top of the screen now. It just feels like it's going quite slowly, doesn't it? It's a lot of foundational work and it's got a good structure and now it's just going to zoom up. How long do you spend there? Like hours? Well, maybe we will spend hours in there now because <laughs> it's going to be so nice. It's not good for your bowel health. Most of the time you're just looking out the window at the stars. In a stinky room of shit. It's so loud, aren't Yeah. How beautiful is that though, this raven? How beautiful. We haven't even started doing anything and you're already going to the bathroom. Leave me alone. Are you enjoying this process? In the winter, not particularly. In summer, there's so many soldier flies and there's loads of soldier fly larvae. So you dump your bucket, you come back two days later and everything's been broken down. It's just a wriggling mass of soldier fly, which isn't particularly nice, but at least it's no shit. Imagine like half the world is horrified. See how it folds itself up. <laughs> what should we put it on? Do you can get like, some aphids. Uh -oh. Okay. There we go. We put them on there. We'll say bye bye. Walking over all the irrigation lines and all the vegetables. It's like they're not even there, isn't it, Sage? <coughs> Sage, it took Mama and Papa months to make that compost. Yeah, he likes doing that one. See, like digging the leeks up. Oh, is that him there? Oh, yeah. Look at that, Sage. That's the baby, isn't it? We've got to leave the babies in the ground. First problem, sage. Second problem, happily.
Hi. Wow, Papa's done a whole another row of blocks. Is it straight? Yep. Right, what do you want to do today? No. Today. Right now, I want to go inside, make myself a huge hot chocolate with whipped cream and marshmallows, get back into bed with my book, ship this guy off to Australia, lock the door so you can't get in, and have zero interruptions all day. But I guess we're gonna get out in the rain, in the cloud. <gasps> If you like my body and you think I'm sexy I've got some cue points Amelia has decided to bake three big loaves of bread. Batteries are at 24% and dropping rapidly. Hmm, Amelia. 11 minutes, 21 seconds left. Come on, son. <gasps> Can I take the bread out? Your alarm's gone off. Baking bread on an overcast day, first thing in the morning. Guess how much battery we've got left? 5%? We're good, right? Crisis averted. The sun has come out. First time I've really felt the effects of the off grid power. Maybe wait till the sun's out to bake bread next time. Yeah, I really want to dehydrate some calendula flowers. Can I do that now? Right. Nice. nice. So I picked up the window last night for the compost toilet. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, you've just bought a window <laughs> with no glass. Wow, it is, it's tall, huh? And look how close it was to fitting in the car. Yeah, I know, like, like just. <laughs> this is what I was like. I just don't know why I didn't think about how big it was. Look, that's <laughs> so thin. Nice, that's the view. I have no idea how big this window was, did you? No. No, I didn't re-measure this! Wow. That... Good privacy! <laughs> <laughs> Dimension this way. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Right. So, but now I've done it, so the bin's going to go in and turn sideways. I 
how are you feeling about the compost toilet so far? Well, they're doing it, that's, that's the main thing, isn't it? You're just using it as an olive store right now <laughs> to protect your olives from the, from the goats. My door's looking pretty cool though. That's an epic little door. Nice. It's a tiny fan for the amount of smelly it used to be like this big extraction. Muchas gracias, hasta luego. Well, I started making a playground with the sage. I started with this swing and then it went to a, a rope. Now it's gone to stepping stones. I'm making a teepee here. And then I'm gonna make something else with pallets that I haven't really decided yet. Planted an olive, very spontaneously. We're making you a playground. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we've just got to think of more brilliant ideas. <laughs> My idea is that opposite it, in the middle, like. Other hey, I really want to build a <laughs> caravan, and actually, you're building like a log cabin or something. You what really is... didn't look at my inspiration boards, did you? He likes it. Huh? So he'll have all of his screws and his bolts and his vices and hammers. I have this theory that this whole play area is actually for you. <laughs> TP. This is my rope. Seesaw over there. Yes, seesaw over there. Then maybe like a rock climbing wall or something. Oh, my pallets. Lots of blocks. I'm gonna do it all myself. Look, I really we need to change the game because I need to make blocks. Why don't you just do that quickly? Look, I want you to get like some of these different. Hang on a minute. You just said you were doing it all. <laughs> I didn't know you were still filming. <laughs> Mama. Look, we have said you're going to have a snack, and by the time we're back, all of what I've said is going to be done. But everyone will think it's me. <laughs> this one looks nice and strong.
These two are being so cute right now. going to get a break from the intensity that has been building the compost toilet. It's been quite gruelling. We just need to get out of that for a minute and enjoy this incredible January weather. What is it? Like 25 degrees? What a night for a dance, you know I'm a dancing machine. Even What's it called? Mm. But that's what you want. <laughs> that's so cute. Now you've got one. Now we've got one. Now we can back. And like a bird flew overhead, which I thought was a stork, which was a sign. But why didn't it ever grow well? Mama. <laughs> 
feeling? Happy. How are you feeling? Oh, big bird. Should we do the chickens? <laughs> we finished the block work now. I'm glad we've got a huge window because we feel like a bit of a coffin otherwise we wouldn't. Mama! Is a bubble in the middle? Yes! Nice, Papa! Good job! Bubble! You put your fan down here, but it's not like that on the thing, so... Well, it all looks good. I'm just going to move this measurement so this is further back and we'll have more space, but I'm not telling you that yet. So this is good so far. Well done. I agree with it. I can hear. You hear that, Sid? Would you like to go on a walk with some goats? Are you going to put the little moon in the door? The little star in the moon? What? It's a galvanised steel door. How do we do that? Yeah, an angle grinder. Yeah, but once you render it, it's going to look great. <laughs> Ready, Sage? I think that went well. Put it through this hole. Why would we put it on rock?
we're gonna pull a ring beam, aren't we? Cool. And what, what's the ring beam, ring beam for then? Structure, Robbie. Support for the roof. It's like a beam around the the walls, so you can lay the roof on top of it. But why does that make it better for laying the roof on? Oh, because it's all like even and it's got steel in it, so it's strong. Earthquakes. Yeah. It's never going to be freaking earthquakes. So. Touch wood. Well, in Granada, it, there was a seven magnitude seven point eight earthquake oh. in nineteen fifty four. It's good that you plan for every possibility. Mm. And should a tsunami come up here? And how about a meteor strike? What about a zombie attack? Sheep. Rabid sheep. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Well, how are you feeling about the combust toilet? It's... it's like nearly there, right? Let's get this ring beam done, the roof on, and then finally it'll be done and we never have to talk about poo again. We can go back to our early relationship where we both pretended that neither of us pooped. Do you think anyone's put so much work into a compost toilet before? Never. Let's get this over with. All right, let's go. chainsaw a generator were made for women so hard to pull like they need to really like <laughs> oh my god they really need to like test these things on women to see if they can sell them you know we get electric ones and you've pressed a button yeah but they're not as good are they yeah, i think they're pretty good now i read this thing that if you do one thing once it's like you're doing it forever like, so now I'm the strimmer, aren't I? And now you know I can use a chainsaw. You're not going to be doing it. It's better to pretend like you can't do it. You could have given me it like a little bit empty. Hey! 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 